from Los Angeles. It's the Tom Likey Show. And now, and now, here he is. Um, thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. <laughs> Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And... Um, I think uh, I have a question a lot of the guys would like the answer to, and since you girls are anonymous, you can uh, tell us what's really going on. Now, um, a long-time listener to this show knows my opinion about Girls' Night Out. To me, Girls' Night Out is for when you are single and unattached. If I am your boyfriend, your fiancé, your live-in, or your husband... Girls' Night Out is over. Done. Finished. Because I know what frequently happens. Now, does it happen 100% of the time? Of course not. You moron. But um, I would say your need to go to um, meat markets and dance clubs and happening bars with your girlfriends ends... When you have found somebody, and if you still have the need to go to places like that, you at least want to be in the vicinity of danger, if not causing it yourself. Now, I'm no dictator. My opinion is that uh, if you want to have girls' night out, you are free to do that. But you can't live at my address. It's that simple. Do whatever you like, but don't expect me to pay the rent, the mortgage. I won't. If you're going out with the girls, find yourself a nice apartment. That's where you should be living, by yourself, so you can bring home some of the flotsam and jetsam you pick up at these places, okay? I make it really easy for any woman who has ever been involved with me. If you need girls' night out, you can have it, but you can't be involved with me. I don't make rules for other people. I make them for me. And I won't be with anyone who thinks they need to go to dance clubs or bars with their girlfriends and make me sit at home by myself waiting for you to show up. Now, if you girls want to go to Starbucks and have coffee, if you want to go to a movie, if you want to go to the house of one of the others and, uh, you know, have dinner or something, I'm all over that. That's great. Girls want to get together and have a conversation in front of the fireplace? Okay. But um, as so often happens, singles bars, which are now not really called singles bars, but really there's no better name for them, clubs, bars that are, um, you know, trendy with lines to get in, or you have to do favors for the bouncer in order to get in without having to wait in line. You know the kind of place I'm talking about. Uh, nobody I would ever be involved with would be going to places like that without me. It's that simple. And if they uh, really, really need to do that, they really need to date other people other than me. Not with me. It's that simple. And on that note, let me talk to you about... Um, the ultimate girls' night out. The bachelorette party. This is girls' night out on steroids. And um, I know there are women who have the guts to call me since they're anonymous and tell me what really goes on at these things. Same thing for bachelorette parties. Nobody I would ever be involved with or married to would ever be going to one of these. And I go a step further. Believe it or not, much as you know about me, I have never been to a bachelor party, ever. And do you know why? 
This has nothing to do with whether I've been married or single or involved or not involved with somebody. It has to do with the fact that to me, to me, a bachelor party is like you're trying too hard to have fun. Like, if you have to try that hard, like whose job is it to find the hookers? Whose job is it to find the strippers? Whose job is it to get a bucket of beer in here? Whose job, you know, you're working too hard to have fun. It's forced. Ever been with somebody who, like, they kind of get squeamish about their own bachelor party? I've known people like this. You know, guys going, I'm not really into porno. I'm not really into strippers. My girlfriend's not going to like it. You know, guys like that. Now, there's a lot of people who feel that. Now, of course, there's plenty of guys who think bachelor parties are a great excuse uh, to get away with doing stuff they could never get away with doing otherwise. Me? If I want to have fun, I just go out and have fun. I don't need to have a bunch of guys come over with porno and strippers to have fun. I can have it without that. You know, I've had some of the hottest chicks in the world take their clothes off for me in person. And I didn't give them a dime. So the idea of paying a bunch of hired hands to come in and pretend to be uh, attracted to all of us is, you know, for me, it doesn't do it. And, um, therefore, uh, nobody could ever tell me, well, you have bachelor parties, or why can't I go to a bachelor airport? No, I don't have bachelor parties. I've not, I'm, I'm sure if I've ever been to one, somebody would call up and correct me or out me. I'm telling you, I've never been. Never. Never, never, ever, never, never, never. I've been married four times, no bachelor party. I've had offers. Mostly from frustrated married men who hoped I would have a bachelor party so they could get lucky. But I've always said no. I've never done it. And so uh, a bachelorette party? Out. No. Again, I can't tell you girls what to do. But if you're with me, you would not be at a bachelorette party. And I know. I know what goes on. Now, you girls might call up and uh, try to uh, lead us to believe that uh, stuff isn't going on. But girls now are hiring seven out of the ten strippers that are hired for bachelor slash bachelorette parties. Seventy percent of the strippers are now hired by women. Did you know that? And uh, many of these are being held at, you know, again, trendy bars, dance clubs. I mean... You know what? Exactly. Again, any woman who would ever be with me, you want to go to bachelorette parties, great. After that, come home to your own apartment. And to bear me out on this, I'm going to ask the women in our audience to call up and tell us. Now, have you been to a bachelorette party recently? Or maybe you're planning one right now. Tell us what really goes on there, and especially... If something has happened at a bachelorette party that you wouldn't want any of the guys to know. Tom Likens. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. And if your boyfriend makes $28,000 a year, you are idiots. The Tom Likens Show. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. All right, what really goes on at bachelorette parties? Please do tell. Gina on the Tom Likens Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? Okay, Gina. Um, listen, I wanted to comment on the topic of the bachelorette parties. Mm -hmm. um, I just went to one recently, and you are right. I mean, a lot of kinky stuff goes on. Really? Yes. What happened? Well, uh, there's about ten girls at a friend's house. Two strippers come in. You know, they do their stuff, and um, after they were done... Somehow they started undressing the bride to be, and this guy just starts banging her right there in front of everyone. Oh, wait, somehow he started uh, undressing her? Yes, he started. <laughs> he unbuttoned her blouse to cut her pants. And she didn't say, No, don't do that. Not at all. And the weird thing is, like, it's always the quiet ones. Uh huh. And, yeah. and, and he started banging her in front of everybody? Right there, right in the middle of the room. Really? And then when the first guy was done with her, then the second guy went in. Really? Exactly. Wow. And what were the other girls doing while this was happening? 
the other girls? Yeah. Well, some of them were really into it. You know, some of them wanted to, you know, say, oh, when is it my turn? When is it my turn? And it's like the worst thing is that after everything was done, we all had to make a pact that nothing was going to be mentioned to the poor groom. Oh, <laughs> because boy. I'm sure he has no idea. So you were all at the wedding. Oh, yeah. And you all know this chick got banged by these two guys the night before. Exactly. And wouldn't say anything about it. Exactly. And the thing is that you're right. I mean, women should not go to clubs or uh, meat markets or bachelorette parties because that's exactly what goes on. And like I told you, it was the bride-to-be, it's the girl that you would look at and she won't even hurt a fly. Mm -hmm. Maybe she hasn't had a lot of fun or a lot of experience over the years and she wanted to jam some in. No, she's had a good, I mean, I've known her for 10 years. She's got a good fair amount of boyfriends. Uh-huh. I'm sure that she's, you know, I mean, she's a good friend of mine, but she's been around, and, you know, all of us that have been single at once have done that, but mm -hmm. not to some guy that she'll never, ever see again or never saw before, and she's getting married the next day. Unbelievable. And uh, did any of the other girls get banged at this party? Um, you know what? I, I really don't. I don't think so. I mean, a lot of it, it gets the parties get real riled up while it's going on. A lot of people were saying, "Oh, what about me? What about me?" But basically, it was more about the bride to be. It's amazing. So these guys, uh, I mean, were they hired like hookers, or were they just strippers who kept going? Oh, you know, I think I don't think they're strippers because I think there's some sort of boundary that they have to keep. Um, I think they were friends of a friend that one of the girls knew or something that, that they do that on the side for extra dough or whatever, because I don't think like a strip uh, company or an agent will, you know, allow them to, to do that. How did you, know, you feel if, about this? Well, you know what? Um, I thought that that was mainly uh, more popular among uh, white girls, but they were all Latinas. Mm-hmm. You know, we're supposed to be more reserved. Supposed to be. Um, but, I've dated you know. many of you. <laughs> you are anything but reserved. <laughs> well, that, that is true. That is true. Yes. You're all afraid that we'll think you're sluts, but you're the same sluts the white girls are. Well, if not more so. Do you think so, though? I mean, yep. I don't know. I've had some white girlfriends that... I'm pretty trashy, though. Yeah, but let me tell you something. White girls are really uptight compared to Latinas, believe me. You think so? Absolutely. To the point where Latinas are pretty much everything I've dated the last several years. Oh, wow. Any particular region or? I've, I've, I've gone all over the map. Uh-oh. <laughs> I You name it. I've been to Venezuela, Colombia, Argentina, Cuba. Oh, my God. I've been all Mexico. Are you kidding me? All over. Well, Tom, like I said, I just wanted to comment. You are totally right. Behind closed doors, women will do just about anything without their men knowing about and it. And that's why the men should say no. Exactly. No. Have some I, balls and say no. First time caller, long time listener. I totally agree with you. Uh, even though you give a lot of... Um, advice to man, I totally agree with you. You are like the king. You totally rock. Thank you, Gina. All right. I appreciate Take care. You too. Bye. 1-800-5800-TOM. Stacy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right, Stacy. Okay. I have my sister got married um, this past February, and in January we had a bachelorette party for her. Mm -hmm. So my cousin calls up these Latin dancers or something. I don't even know what it was. The guy shows up, and... My sister is 35, and so I had my sister and all of her friends there, and a lot of my aunts who are in their 50s and late 40s. This guy gets going. He he rips my sister's clothes off, her shirt, starts doing... By the way, did she object? No, she was no. so drunk. She was so drunk that all she could say was, oh, my God, he smells so good. Uh-huh. So he's... Yeah, so she's, he's taking off her clothes. He's doing everything you can imagine to her. This goes on for a little while. He gets all the girls, he's jumping on them, he's straddling them, and he's doing all this but stuff. But did he bang her? 
Well, no, this is where it gets interesting. Oh, he goes okay. into the bedroom, yeah. and my cousin, the one that actually hired him, goes back there, mm -hmm. and he bangs her in the bedroom, and then her mom goes in there, and he bangs her, too. Oh, boy. Yeah. And how, how old was her mom? My aunt, I think she's like 48 or 49. Uh-huh. And she's married, you know, and stuff, and... And my cousin, who is actually dating someone, her boyfriend showed up at the party like an hour later. But everybody at the party, I'm gay, so I wasn't interested at all. Mm -hmm. But everybody else at this party was just like, but you would have thought that they had never seen a man. I mean, they were acting so crazy. They were jumping on him. They were just, you know, my mom is videotaping this. So she's had this on video. Needless to say, no one talked about it at the wedding. It was like it never happened. But I was just mortified at my aunt who... Like I said, you know, some of them are in their late. And is your aunt married too? Yes. Oh boy. And so this guy, Angel Baby or whatever his name was, was just. I mean, he was. I mean, he he actually came from a stripper company, and so the girl that was talking before, I don't think they have any boundaries or anything because he was. Really. And and they were they weren't objecting to it at all. So I mean, at one point, I ended up having to walk out because I was just mortified. I could not believe that that these women were acting like that. See, and I, this is what I try to tell people, and they're, well, how can you tell women they can't have a party? How can you? Well. <laughs> this was, I mean, if my brother, my now brother-in-law, ever found out, I think, I mean, I'm sure he had his own thing, too, don't get me wrong, but, but he, the women that were there were acting like he was, you know, the last glass of water in the desert. I mean, they were just like, I mean, egging him on and jumping on him, and he was eating it up. And then he drives away in his little Suzuki, got, and he's gone to another party where I'm sure he's going and getting, you know, more women. So. I wonder if there are guys who actually believe that their uh, uh, fiancés or their girlfriends who go to bachelorette parties actually believe that something does happen, but they don't care because they're going to have their own party to go to, so they really don't give a rat's ass. I wonder if there are guys like that. Oh, I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. But like I said, I totally agree with you, and... You know, uh, you're usually right on everything, and I think that people are just afraid to, to really say what they what they feel, and they're all too PC, and, oh, no, women, you know, don't. But, yes, women are sluts, and they will, you know what I mean, you put a cute guy that smells good in front of them, and they'll just do about anything. Yeah, I think you're Especially right about that. Especially when they don't know him. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> so, thanks, Tom. I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller, and I think you're the best. So. Thank you so much. All right, bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's take a quick one here from Charity on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Okay. So I'm um, putting together a bachelorette party right now, and I have to say that I don't know if I just live in a bubble, but none of that stuff is going on at this bachelorette party. As far as you know. Oh, I know. Whoa. How do you know? Um, I know my friends, and I know the girls that are going to be there. I know that I'm willing to take my 16-year-old sister, and I would not take her somewhere that I thought... But do you think that at these other parties we just heard about, do you think that they knew, or at least admitted to knowing, that these strippers were going to uh, undress them and start doing them? I don't know if they would have admitted to it, but they're a bunch of skanks. I mean, that would not happen in my circle of friends. We do not do that. Well, I, I don't think the other callers thought their friends did it either. Now we know they do. It's the Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. Um, Los Angeles is 1-800-5800-TOM. Bachelorette parties, what really goes on? Marie on the Tom Likas Show, Adam. Hi, Tom. This is Marie calling from Dallas, Texas. Hi, Marie. Hi. I think your points of view are really interesting and blunt, and I was just wondering if you think that your partner going to a bachelorette party would be ground for dismissal. You bet it would. That would be it right there. So you feel that passionately about it, huh? Yes, I do. That's all I wanted to know. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that your boyfriend or your husband would do that, but that is certainly my position on it. You know, I've never been to one, and I'm just not interested. I don't uh, know well, you've heard some of these stories now. That you, How would you like to be witnessing some of that stuff if, if not involved in it? Yeah, I think it would make me feel really, really uncomfortable. Then you have to keep that secret? Oh, I know, and I think that would be a big burden on me because I just think that infidelity is a really, really big problem, and that would just make me cringe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested in that at all. Yeah. And uh, you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do. Where is he? In Austin, Texas. He lives there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you see him? 
On the weekend. Oh, boy. What do you think he does during the week? Nothing. Sure. Uh, so you think? Of course. Austin? Oh, no. That's the party town of the century. What, are you kidding me? Uh, I like Austin. Uh, hey, who doesn't? Yeah, it's a really fun city. Yeah, well, that's what your uh, boyfriend thinks, too. Yeah, I hope he's not going to any bachelor parties. <laughs> he doesn't need a bachelor party. He's got five free nights a week. I know. Lucky him. I have five free nights a week, that t t too, though, but I just paint and cook. <laughs> you paint and cook and think about your boyfriend and oh, wait to hear from him. <laughs> Do I what? And you wait to hear from him? No, I don't wait by the phone. Not that kind of girl. Does he call you every night? Yeah. Every night? Yes. Uh-huh. What time does he call? Uh, about nine. Nine. He says, oh, boy, I'm going to turn in. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. All right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Tom. Thank you, Marie. Bye. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Lori on the Tom Likas show. Hello. <laughs> You're so funny. Um, but I will say this. I completely agree with you. Bachelor and bachelorette parties are extremely wrong. I've been to several bachelorette parties, and all of the times that I have gone, something has been or something has happened that's extremely inappropriate. And I've also been on the other end of the spectrum where my very good guy friends come back and hoot and holler about all of the inappropriate things that are done at a bachelor party. Uh -huh. So I, I agree with you 100%, I think. Bachelor and bachelorette parties are just a waste of time, and if you're going to be paying somebody for entertainment, then it, that's definitely grounds for dismissal. Wait a minute. Now, what kind of inappropriate behavior have you witnessed? <laughs> um, well, unfortunately, I was already screened by your screener, and the type of inappropriate behavior that had went on at this one particular bachelor party uh -huh. was incredibly crazy, where the girl who put on the bachelorette party for the bride-to-be they were both involved in, in some extremely sexually act activities that go beyond the call of duty. How's that? Oh, boy. So uh, he knows how bad it is, and he told you you can't say that on the air. <laughs> <laughs> so it was that bad. Do the Janet Jackson thing. You can't say that. Right. I'm, here I'm sitting in my car going, oh, man, if you only knew. Well, did, you, did you tell Dean what it was like? Oh, you did. You t Dean tells me you told, uh, you told him. <laughs> wow. I did tell Dean. That's funny. Oh, that's great. Um, yes, I did pretty much tell Dean. I mean, there's some things that I guess, I don't know, he doesn't need to know. Now, were you involved in this activity? Pardon? No. You were not? Uh, no, actually, when that did happen, I, honest to God, left. I actually called him to come pick me up. Now, uh, I'm going to clean this up because I, I have an idea of what we can say. Now, Dean is uh, telling me that uh, all... Except I imagine you. All the girls got naked? They all got um, naked? Actually, there was probably about six of us that did not. And how and many did? did? And uh, I, I too, there was about 33 of us girls there. So 27 or so got naked and six didn't. And, and it was six a of us left. And it was a full-on orgy, he tells me. Uh, it was pretty close to a full-on orgy. And, and wait a minute now. Um, <laughs> how many of these 27 girls had boyfriends or husbands? I'd say 20 out of the 27. Yeah, most of them. Yeah. 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 Well. I mean, what's really sad now is I'm, my younger sister is getting married, and I really wanted to do something way cool for her, right? And so here we actually planned um, a weekend with the my sister's fiancé and herself, and we were going to go on a trip, all of us together. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and... The guys just decided to do their own bachelor party. Well, now I'm stuck with saying, okay, well, you know, should I not do something for my sister? I want to go get a massage and treat her and, you know, for a massage as well and maybe go out to dinner and come home after that. So is that, you know, is that wrong as well? Well, how many of the girls who are at the other bachelor party would be at this one? Oh, none, none, because actually those girls. How many, how many girls now expect to have this at a bachelorette party? Um, out of the group of girls that I hang out with, yeah. I'd say, I don't know, I have probably a... I don't mean a party. I mean a party where stuff happens. I'd say 5% of my friends now. 5%. But you, a lot of these girls were your friends. Are they aren't anymore? 
Right, right. Because of that. Um, well, yes, yes. I really respect my husband a lot. I mean, I, he's really handsome, and I think he's a really great guy, and he's a wonderful, wonderful provider. So for me, when stuff like that goes on, I just, I, I, I laugh. I think it, you, they're just extremely inappropriate, and I don't need to be around people like that. Yeah. See, if I if, if I'm your husband or I'm your boyfriend, and I know that you went to a party like that, and that this is what your friends are like, I don't feel good about your friends anymore. Well, no, you're absolutely right. And quite honestly, my husband really doesn't care for all of my girlfriends that I currently hang around with now. Yeah. You know what I always say to the people I know, your friends are you. Right, and birds of a feather flock together. Right. That's why I know where I'm at on Friday and Saturday nights, or even on the weeknights, I'm home with my husband and my children, and that's what matters the most. But you're absolutely right. Bachelor and bachelorette parties just should not happen. They're all trashy in some way, shape, or form. Lori, thank you. No problem. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. Tom Lodges, 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. So what's a guy in for if he goes out with you? A good way. The Tom Lodges Show. Tom Lodges Show, 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number, all right? What really happens at bachelorette parties? It's Jules on the Tom Lodges Show, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Do you care, Jules? Of course I do. I'm doing great. That's great. I'm doing just as well. Oh, good. And I feel so much better of you talking about this because there's a lot of things I want to get off my chest. Yes. For one thing, you are absolutely right. By the way, I, I, I hate to interrupt with something uh, uh, unrelated, but the Dodger pregame show is on Fox Sports Net 2 right now. Mm -hmm. And they're interviewing the Dodgers' newest player, Milton Bradley, and the guy's got his hand on his crotch for this entire interview. If you tune in right now, you can see Milton Bradley with his hand right over his privates. What is he hiding there? What is it? If it's on right now, Fox Sports Net 2, it's on now. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I went to a bachelorette party earlier this month, and it's... It's almost as bad as Girls' Night Out. Actually, it's it's Girls' Night Out for... It's women. Girls' Night Out on get steroids. Out. That's what it is. Definitely, and it's Girls' Night Out for the women who cannot get out. So they bring, you know, all the action, all the men, all the sex and everything to them. And, of course, the men let them go because it's just a bachelorette party. Right. Um, well, this one particular party that we went to, we had a stripper and... It was pretty frisky. He was taking off tops of everybody. He was, you know, he was getting jobs done himself from a lot of the guests. And I think about 90% of them were married, and they were all loving it. They were loving it. Huh? They are loving everything, sweating and rubbing and the whole bit. Uh -huh. so there, there were a couple of... You know, people sneaking away. Um, well, how far did it go? Well, the stripper invited more strippers. So um, it went pretty pretty far. About half of the half of the girls ended up taking off to other rooms with the strippers. I was getting, you know, in some in on some action with another one of my friends. Really? And the stripper. Oh yeah. You got banged. I was getting there, but then I started sobering up, so I needed a refuel. Ah. Um, so I slipped away for a bit, so. So were the others getting banged? Is that what happened? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. How about the bride? Yeah. Oh, no. That's one thing. The bride was a complete prude. She She was a prude. See, yeah, now you're, yeah. calling, you're calling her a prude because she was being loyal to, <laughs> to yeah. her fiancé. She's a prude. <laughs> yes, it's like. Boys, I hope you're listening to this. This is what you need to hear. Yes, definitely. Anyone who doesn't reality. participate is approved. <laughs> this is total reality. That's what bachelorette parties are for, just to go have a, pretty much permission to go bang anyone else. Did you have a boyfriend or a husband at the time? Oh, yeah, definitely. A live-in boyfriend. Live-in boyfriend. And you told him, oh, we're just going to have some, you know, have a couple of drinks, honey. Yes, yes, just like I tell him every weekend. Oh, and you, oh, so you also do girls' night out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Every what kind of boyfriend is that? 
That's stupid. Um, for what? He he's something special. <laughs> oh, I'll bet he is. Yeah. We yeah. should all have relationships where you just go out every weekend and get laid. He's great. He's um. He works. He stays at home. Yeah. You know, I let him know that I, I'm going to go out with this friend. When actually this friend that I go out with, I actually fool around with most of the time. You fool around with the friend? Yeah, definitely. She's a female. And we usually, usually we pick up on somebody at the clubs. We have our usual spots, you know. Why do you need a boyfriend, if I may ask? Oh, no. Now I don't have him anymore because oh, it just got boring. And, oh, he barely was boring before he left. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, no, now I'm just, you know, flowing free. Uh, so I'm really? pretty much just doing the same thing, just without the companion. Well, anytime you want to bring the girls down here, we'd be happy to uh, accommodate you all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's just really bad. That's where parties are the worst. They are, especially for married women. Men, seriously, if you let your women go to bachelorette parties, Make sure you smell them when they come back. Yeah, smell, smell them. them. In the right regions. Yeah. You'll see there's something different going on there. Yeah, well, I, you know, honestly, if I were in a relationship and the person I was with went to a bachelorette party, the locks would be changed by the time they got home. Definitely. No yeah. doubt about it. Done. There's no way I would ever let my any of my men go to a bachelor, bachelor party. Of course not. No, I, I know my brother had one, and me and my brother are super close, and he tells me everything, everything that happens. And, you know, he, his wife is great. She's this sweet person, and she, she knows nothing of what goes on. And, you know, he works at a nightclub, and he's out banging, you know, meeting up with girls all the time. He calls me 3 in the morning, hey, I'm with you tonight, supposedly, if anyone asks. I'm like, oh. I'm with you. Yeah. If anybody calls, I'm with you. Yes, definitely. And then, you know, I do the, the quick two-second call to him. Oh, the missus called. I told you, I told her you're in the restroom or you went to get something to eat. So, of course, he slips away, gives her a call and says, oh, I'm about to go to bed. You know, I'm just going to stay with my sister tonight because he, he, he works closer to my house than his. So, a lot of the time, he crashes out at my house, supposedly. But I see my brother very rarely. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. That, that, that'll make everybody look forward to getting married. I'll tell you that. Some like it. 1-800-5-800. Huh. Some like it. 1-800-5-800. Why do you spend uh, your whole entire being belittling other people around you just to make yourself feel good? Because it's so entertaining. So many millions of people like hearing me do it. Sick, sick world, man. I don't care. I'm just here to cash in on it, babe. <laughs> Some like it, show. <laughs> This five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Michelle, you're on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hi Tom. Hi Michelle. How you doing? Do you care, darling? Of course I care. I'm doing great. Good. I'm glad. No, um, I totally agree with you when it comes to bachelorette parties and everything like that. Um, I think when you get alcohol and girls, they go crazy. They say, you know, guys are the ones that think with, think with their crotches, but I think girls are just as bad. So. I agree. You got girls just to be to keep it a secret. Definitely. I girls can keep great secrets. I mean, I think they brought them to other girls, but for the most part, keep it in the same sex. So. Right. I definitely agree. But um, when I got married, I didn't have a bachelorette party personally. Um, I you know did the whole girly pampering thing because. I was actually in a sorority, and dealing with all the stuff that went with girls getting drunk and strippers and everything, I was like, mm, a little too chaotic for me. So I actually didn't have one. So. Well, that's because you love your husband. I do. I really do. But um, I've been to I've been to my share bachelorette parties, and you know the girls that sneak off with the guys, and you don't know where they've been. It's like, okay, you know what happens, but it's kind of an unsaid thing between girls. You kind of just assume. Now, would you go to another girl's bachelorette party? Would I go? Yeah. Um, I have. I haven't recently. I did when I was in my, I was a, last one I went to was when I was 20, actually. Yeah, what happened there? Oh, they were crazy. I mean, like I said, you get alcohol in girls and they go wild, you know, shirts getting ripped off, groping, all that good stuff. Did they have, any, any of them have sex with a stripper or anybody else? You no, know, like I said. Or each other? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, people disappear. You don't know what's going on. Um, and they come back, you know, their shirts are a little miss misplaced in their hair, you know, they have sex hair, but you know what went on. You kind of just don't ask. Of course. Though. 
So, yeah, I mean, I I recommend do not have a bachelor party. But I wanted to know, do you feel the same way about guys? Do you think guys do the exact same thing, or do you think it's just kind of like a girl thing? Um, I think guys do the same thing, uh, although, um, I, honestly, I don't think they go as crazy. You don't think really? I've never been. I've only heard about them. Uh, really? Yeah, but uh -oh. I, I think girls go crazier than guys. I think so, too. I uh, really think, you know, girls do the screaming, they touch you, and they get all excited. I totally think it's one of those things where it's the girls that haven't been let out in a while, yeah. you know, and they kind of, like, let loose. I know, gosh, last one I went to was older aunts and moms and stuff like that and it's like gosh those ladies are crazier than the younger girls they, it's like they haven't been let out of the house in forever so yeah. they've been so busy trying to convince people they're not sluts they feel like it's their last chance to be sluts for god's sake hey thanks a lot for the call michelle our email address is my name it's tom at blowmeuptom.com the tom like his show Write us the Tom Like This Show. Most office box 4455, Hollywood, California, 90078. Email us. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. We call our comment line. The number is 310 842 9592. From Los Angeles, it's the Tom Like His Show.